Chapter 24, Amelia. Once again the week flew by like a breeze, but it still fe Chapter 24, Amelia. Once again the week flew by like a breeze, but it still feels like it's just yesterday that I was brought in here. I am currently walking along the hallways giving myself a tour out this enormous house, it's the only way I can keep my mind from exploding when I shifted my eyes to the left, I noticed a swing door. Feeling curious to know what's inside, I reached out to it pushed the heavy swing door open, I went inside the room with tiled chessboard floor and about 50 long shelves, my mouth shaped into a awe as I realized it's a private library. Row after row had neatly lined up books with their spines facing outward, color-coded with dots, fiction section arranged in alphabetical order, young adult section, children's section with low shelves and floor cushions, comfortable leather armchairs, tables for quiet study, muffled stillness. It was as if designed by a person with a profound love for literature. I can see you've found the library. A voice said behind, I turned around to see Susan with a smile on her face. It's beautiful, whose is it? I asked turning back and running my hand over them, it took her a while before she answered, it used to belong to Damien's father before he disappeared. I turned to her a bit curious now, what happened to him? I don't know, she said sadly before her tone turned serious, anyway have you by any chance seen Damien? I raised my eyebrow in confusion, no, I haven't seen him for days, I assumed he locked himself in his room, I mean where else could he have gone? We are in the middle of nowhere. I made it my mission to this past days to avoid Damien like a plague and he's probably missing. Could he have left the house without anyone noticing, that boy never listens. She mutters the last under her breath, anyway, his Lucas is here to see him. My mouth widens into a smile, Lucas is here? She nodded, he's downstairs trying to find Damien as well, the poor boy is worried sick. I couldn't wait for her to finish as I began running down the stairs. Lucas. I called as I saw him looking out the balcony at the sound of my voice he turns to me, his mouth lights up into a smile. I couldn't help but smile back, he reaches out to me and pulls me into a hug, God. I have missed you. He mumbled making me giggle slightly, it's nice seeing someone familiar again. I pull away from, any luck finding Damien? I ask and he shakes his head, knowing him he's probably somewhere drinking. Found him. Susan shouts. The sound of a body crashing made us both wince and rush towards the stairs, what happened? Lucas shouts reaching out to him to Damien's unconscious body was laying on the floor, I stood frozen to ground as I saw his unconscious body laying on the floor not moving, is he dead? I breathed out. Lucas moves his fingertips to the small area underneath his neck to feel for his pulse, he's alive. He said sounding relieved with the help of Susan, they lifted his body off the floor and carried him to a room under the stairs, Lucas carefully placed him on the bed and tucked him in before turning to look at me, are you okay? he asks. Terrified. I let out, is he going to be okay? I ask and he nods confidently like he's been used to this scenario before. He placed his hand on my back gesturing Susan and me out the door. I let out a heavy sigh of relief as he shuts the door, he would be fine, he just needs a little rest. He says, after a while, I took my eyes to Susan's direction and she looked quite shaken, Susan. I whispered. She turns to me, are you okay? I asked and she simply nodded, I will leave you too. She said and climb upstairs. Few minutes later, after the frightening scenario had died down Lucas and me spent the rest of the day in the lawn laughing and talking about random things which should have been a little more fun if my mind wasn't half of the time drifting to Damien, how come you don't have a girlfriend? I mean I find that hard to believe. He leans closer, I haven't met anyone that catches my attention. Chapter 25 Amelia. I was awake before dawn but that was long before I had the courage to open my eyes, his face was still snuggled up on my neck breathing heavily. His arms were still tightly wrapped around my body. If someone had told me a few days ago, that we would be in the position we are now, I would have laughed in their face. I groaned silently, why couldn't I just say no last night and save myself from this embarrassment? I am pretty sure once he wakes the real Damien would surface back, I need to get out of here and save myself from more embarrassment. 
Trying really hard not to move the mattress, I slowly take his hands off me, after successfully doing that I quickly sit up straight and began to put my feet onto the floor, where are you going? His voice echoes the room making me gasp. Damien. I stuttered. Where are you going? He repeats, even half asleep he sounds intimidating. I was heading back to my room. I whispered still a bit embarrassed. You're not some hooker I hired Amelia, don't you ever try to sneak out of my bed like that again. He tugs on my arm pushing me back onto the mattress and pulling me to him in a spooning position. How can he possibly be able to do that? So, did you tell him? He whispered in my ear after a few moments of silence. Tell who what? Lucas, that you won't be seeing him again or do I have to do it myself? I scoffed shockingly, so, this is what this is about you trying to control me again, I said try and get loose from his grip but he tightened it engulfing me more into his hard body, I could feel every inch of his body, I gasp as I felt him breathe in my scent and dig his nose in my hair. Damien, are you awake? A voice shouts from the other side of the door. Panicking. Crap. 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 Susan. How could I forget Susan? That she could walk in here any minute to check up on him, as my body began to act on its adrenaline rush, I start pushing Damien off me, but he wasn't having it, he tightened his hold on me by clutching tightly to my waist. If Susan is to come in here and see us in this position, I would die of embarrassment. As if my day couldn't get any worse, the door handle turned, Damien, let me go. I finally cried out as the door swung open revealing a happy Susan with a tray in her hands, sorry to interrupt, here's your food. She said as she stepped further into the room not even slight shaken by our position. You can leave, Amelia can handle the rest. Damien spoke up, no. What? I let out, Susan nodded and left looking quite relieved. As soon as she left, I managed to get myself from his grip and I jumped off the bed not sure where the sudden super strength came from, what's going on Damien? I demanded. Amelia, the food, he said ignoring my plea, is getting cold. I sighed heavily and moved over to him, I held to his hand and lead him get to the eating table and without him even asking I picked up the bowl of omelette from the tray and began feeding it to him, you were right? He spoke up while I feed him his third spoon. About what exactly? I asked clearing my throat to try and cover my shock. About me judging you without knowing anything about you. He paused. So I had my men do a background check on you. I snapped placing the bowl back on the table, that's an invasion of privacy Damien, I can totally sue you for that. I yelled upset, I like my private life private. Why didn't you tell me, the whole reason you are doing this is to help your family. I cut in, I don't need your pity Damien, plus what difference would that have made to you anyway? Is she threatening you? He asked, ignoring my rants, if she is you have to tell me Amelia. Who? I ask back pretending to be clueless. He sighed, my mother Amelia, did she threaten to sue your father, I heard he owes the company she newly purchased a lot of money, that can't be a coincidence coming from her. He said the last part with a hint of disdain. No. I lied. He groaned heavily, I am trying really hard here to understand you, Amelia. Why is it because you feel sorry for me now? Chapter 26. Hash Bonus. Damien Gray. I fluttered my eyes open immediately greeted by darkness, one would assume I would be used to it by now, feeling and holding tightly to the bed I managed to sit up straight. I heard the sound of the door opening indicating someone was coming in, who's there? I hurled, it's not Amelia, I can always tell when she's around me, she has this unique scent that always messes with my head, it's me, Susan, are you feeling any better? She asks. I nodded, I had falling off the stairs, I couldn't even do that one thing right, pathetic. Where's Amelia? I asked. In the lawn with Lucas. She whispered, I curled my fist together to prevent myself from raging out, running my hand on my hair. I decided to ask the one question that has been hunting me for a while now, Susan, does Amelia remind you off? I stopped myself not able to complete it. Elena. She supplies, I could feel her smiling, in every sense, I was taken by her as well the first time I saw her, she says. 
After our heated argument, my curiosity drove me into having a background check on her and I found nothing other than the fact she's been trying to save up some money to help her parents pay up their debts. Selfless. And trust my fucked up mother to take advantage of that and the naive girl has no idea what she's gotten herself into. All my life I was composed to believe everyone was created to care only about themselves and nothing else. Elena was the person one who made me see otherwise with her selfless acts and now Amelia. Can you describe her for me? Who? Amelia. Ah. Uh, she breathed out, well, she's medium height, not fat or thin, very curvy. She started, I leaned my head back and closed my eyes, trying to form a perfect picture in my mind. 